If you're looking for delicious and diverse vegetarian street food options at two of London's newer food markets, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome. We are Sakshi, TJ and Little Pixie. We share our vegetarian food explorations and family travel adventures from London, the UK and around the world. Hoping you'll find your next food or travel inspiration here. Hi folks and thanks for tuning in. We are back again with even more street food from London. In this video, we are going to share our vegetarian food finds from two different food markets in London. The first one is the Holly Wharf, which is part of Camden Market, but it's across the road from the main uh, Camden Market. And the second one is where I'm standing right now. It's called Mercato Metropolitano. And uh, this is our very first visit here and we are excited to explore and discover what this market has to offer. The food market at Holly Wharf in Camden Town opened up in 2021. Located along the Regents Canal, the market offers a scenic setting that attracts locals and tourists alike. It's designed to be enjoyed year-round with covered seating areas. The market features a range of food vendors offering cuisines from around the world. You can enjoy everything from local fare to international dishes, including Asian, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern and more. Let's begin with the light bite. The falafel burger from a trader called Flip and Sear was a nice find. A crispy falafel patty along with grilled halloumi, greens, a sweet chilli dressing and mayo packed in a brioche bun. The blend of flavours and textures was enjoyable and the burger's smaller size means you won't be too full to sample other dishes. As always, we were lured in by an Asian trader called Ekachai that brings Southeast Asian flavours to Camden. Here, we went for a char kway tiao. These are wok fried flat rice noodles with chilli and chives, bean sprouts, tofu and egg. This was quite nice and took us right back to Singapore. Now, let's share the highlight of the day. The oven baked pizza bun from Adore Fritto is a must try. Upon our request, they crafted a vegetarian version filled with fresh burrata, cherry tomatoes and basil, which was deeply satisfying. The burrata was exceptionally fresh and moist and placing it inside a pizza bun created a delightful burst of flavours with each bite. Finally, we decided to try something different and visited an Afghan trader named Two Lads. We tried their unique vegetarian dumplings, which were unlike any we've had before. The dumplings were filled with leek and onions and served with dal, salad, yogurt and a secret green sauce. While it might not have been the tastiest combination, it was certainly an interesting one. This rounds up our food explorations at Holly Wharf. There are more vegetarian options to try, so be sure to plan a visit soon. Speaking of food markets, we've also released the first volume of our London Vegetarian Street Food Guide, featuring four different markets in the city. Be sure to download your free copy from the link in the description below. Now, let's get back to the video. Mercato Metropolitano in London is a food market located in Elephant and Castle. Opened in 2016, it has become a popular destination for food enthusiasts offering a range of international cuisines. The market occupies a spacious area that includes indoor and outdoor seating, creating a lively and inclusive atmosphere. Oh my god, this was such a great find because this place has so many options. Even I think two visits are not enough. So we have to come more times. This is only our first visit. There are so many things to explore. There is every kind of cuisine, you can name it. And there are so many drink options available as well. Like there are small cocktail bars, there is craft beer, and there is wine bar. And every corner is so like artsy and cool. It's a fantastic atmosphere. So. Let's start off by talking about some light bites we tried here. The first one is called a Bang Bang Fried Cauliflower from a Korean trader called Green Joy. These were fried cauliflower florets 
with gochujang honey garlic and it was glorious the florets were hot and crispy and the marination with sweet and salty combination was just right besides the tangy asian slaw salad enhanced the flavors even more the second appetizer we tried here was a chili tofu bao from cheeky bao's the buns were soft and fluffy and the filling consisted of fried tofu with a chili sauce the fried onions and fresh cucumber made it crispy and crunchy now let's move on to the highlight of the day this was a fried pizza from an italian trader called piccio we went with the truffle option and it came stuffed with truffle cream mushrooms and mozzarella and it did not disappoint Mm. That is so good. There's so much going on with the flavors. There's a cream truffle, mushrooms, and peppers in a fried dough. It's just mind blowing. Another interesting find were these hand pulled noodles from an Uzbek trader called Oshpaz. We went with the vegan option where the noodles were thick, similar to udon noodles. that were tossed in an aromatic broth and pan fried with vegetables herbs and spices the taste was quite different from other asian varieties and we liked it overall next let's talk about the paneer tikka naan wrap from tandoori tadka a naan or flat bread wrap was filled with paneer along with spicy hummus tamarind chutney and mint yogurt Overall it was a good combination of flavors and we enjoyed the wrap but we felt the paneer could have been softer Our little one has recently developed a love for pizza and she obviously wanted one when we went out with her and so we got a pizza margherita from La Pizza Napolitana The pizza was fantastic the dough was soft the tomato sauce and mozzarella were fresh and we all enjoyed it immensely they have several other veggie options too that we plan to try on our next visit here that's it for today we hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back here to check out even more food finds from london and beyond do you like ice cream <laughs>